this was his baby. Marvin didn't have a name for it, but we named it Sweet Pea, obviously because of the color. But you could tell this man could stand here and talk about this truck for hour upon hour upon hour. And uh, you know, if you had something 42 years and you took this good care of it, um, obviously it meant a lot to him. Everybody was looking at Chevrolet, Ford, Dodge, and all that. But for some reason, I just liked the Nissan truck. It was small. I didn't want a big truck. And at the time we bought it, it was $2,111. My wife's people lived in Calera, Alabama, and it made 25 trips to Calera. It made one trip to Atlanta, made two trips to Knoxville. We had friends in uh, Cookville, Tennessee, and it made dozens and dozens of trips up there. And we used it for pleasure. And at the point in time, I had a 1970, 98 Oldsmobile, and I'd rather drive that truck than the Oldsmobile. It's just so nice. It's just smooth at 50, 55, 60 miles an hour. It just runs like a sewing machine. got a little over 150,000 miles. I changed the oil every 2,000 from the day I bought it. I have a record that you can find that I did. Everything that was done to it is on record from the day I bought it till the day I sold it. And I just always take care of it. I took a lot of pride in it. It's a pretty little truck. And I think it's one of the prettiest ones in East Side ever built. <laughs> I've hauled furniture in it. I've had wood for our fireplace stacked up to the top of the bed. And you. I found out that the truck did not pull good, but you could put as much on it as you wanted to and it would go, but it just didn't have the pulling power. I was at a uh, pure gas station because they don't have any ethanol filling up another vehicle and uh, the original owner pulled it in this Datsun. When I was a kid, I used to go around the country with a friend of mine's father and race B510s. So when I saw this truck, I asked him if he wanted to sell it. And he said, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Well, a few weeks went by and I went back to the gas station and I ended up running into him again. And he says, I would want to sell that truck. Well, several people had tried to buy it from me and especially kids and they want to strip it down and lower it and all that because that's kind of popular for that model truck. I was really not interested in selling it, but when Dan told me what the future of it was going to be, I said, well, I'm ready to let it go if it, they'll keep it. So, and I'm glad it's here. You know, being 42 years old, you know, Marvin bought the truck when he was 38, he's 80 years old. And when I looked through the truck, uh, you know, it didn't have any rust. Uh, everything was original and uh, uh, it needed to be here.